Hello, Math142. Find all solutions for cosine of 2 theta equals cosine squared of theta minus 1 half. So step one, let's put everything on the left-hand side and change this to cosine of 2 theta uh, minus cosine squared of theta plus 1 half. All that equals 0. Now I'm going to use uh, the identity for cosine of 2 theta and exchange that with cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. And that was, this was the identity for cosine of 2 theta. And I know that we can exchange cosine squared of theta with 1 minus sine squared of theta. So here's my minus from here, parenthesis, 1 minus sine squared of theta plus 1 half equals 0. Now, cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta minus 1 plus sine squared of theta plus one half equals zero. And I can nicely cancel the sine squared. And I can combine negative one with positive one half. So what I'm left with is cosine squared of theta minus one half equals zero. And of course, now I have cosine squared of theta equals one half. So let me continue on uh, next page. Taking square root of both sides will give me cosine of theta equals plus and minus square root of one half, which is the same as saying cosine of theta equals plus and minus root one over root two, which is the same as saying plus and minus square root of one is one and over square root of two. Now, if I rationalize the denominator by multiplying both top and bottom by root two, I get cosine of theta equals plus and minus square root of two over two. And that is very, very familiar, okay? Mainly pi over four, and then 3 pi over 4, um, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Okay. So let me go to the next page. And attempt to do a circle here or a unit circle. And of course, Okay, and let me just so I know that at pi over uh, four, uh, pi over four, the value of cosine is. Um, root two over two, and of course, sine is negative root two over two, but doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not working with sine right now. I'm only interested on cosine. How about uh, three pi over four? At three pi over four, I, the value of cosine is uh, negative root two over two. How about 5 pi over 4? At 5 pi over 4, the value of cosine is negative again, so negative root 2 over 2, positive root 2 over 2 for sine. And finally, at 7 pi over 4, uh, I get root 2 over 2 for cosine and um, negative root 2 over 2 for sine. 
So my answer should encapsulate seven pi over four uh, and every revolution, three pi over four and every revolution, five pi over four and every revolution, and seven pi over four and every revolution. So now I can write this, let me first write the long version of the answer. We said that oh, the answer is going to be pi over four plus uh, two k pi, k an in integer, uh, three pi over four plus two k pi, uh, five pi over four plus two k pi, and finally seven pi over four plus two k pi. But notice that uh, pi over four in here and five pi over four are one pi apart. So if I change the answer in here, instead of having two k pi, if I uh, take, if I just toss that two and say just pi plus k pi, uh, sorry, pi over four plus k pi, it'll cover all the pi over four and uh, every revolution for that. It'll also cover the five pi over four and every revolution for that. So by saying pi over four plus k pi, k any integer, I no longer need the five pi over four plus two k pi. That's not necessary anymore. Notice that also that three pi over uh, four in here, let me write that a little bit bigger. Uh, 3 pi over 4 plus 2 k pi, not only, you know, it, it, it covers this angle in here and every revolution, but it only is 1 pi away from this 7 pi over 4. So if I just, it, you know, erase that to 3 pi over 4 plus k pi, is now going to cover all the angles of 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4 and their revolution. So this part is no longer needed. So what's the final answer for this uh, question is going to be pi over 4 plus k pi, and I'm going to put comma. 3 pi over 4 plus k pi, and mentioning that uh, k any integer. Okay, I hope you like this uh, problem. Thank you.